Okay, I want to talk to uh, James Com about the show that he's curating, Brooklyn Art Now, at, for, at the Verge Brooklyn Fair. So, James, how did the show turn out? How you, it looks like a really tight curation in this room. Well, um, considering we had about uh, maybe two weeks to get the whole thing organized and get the uh, submissions in, everything turned out great. Uh, <clears throat> I am only a uh, little small part of this. I really have to thank the, the Brooklyn Arts community because I, I put out the word that I was having <laughs> some frustrations and that I didn't, you know, we didn't have a lot of funding. So I had a lot of people from Brooklyn who were very nice that came in and uh, did a lot of hanging and cleaning and spending time uh, helping us receive the work. So that was great. And so tell me a little bit about some of the pieces. So you got to feature work from every Brooklyn gallery? Well, I sort of came on board after they'd already designed the, uh, the process, but what it worked out to, to be was that uh, we were asking for submissions from all of the Brooklyn galleries, and each gallery could uh, submit three artists, and uh, out of about 75 or 80 uh, submission forms we sent out, we got the returns from about uh, 25, and then we picked the artists out of that, or at least I picked them. And uh, then I also made sure that we had a little wiggle room, and I was able to get some invitation people, some uh, exclusive, unrepresented Exclusive artists. content? Yes, and, uh, and then we just put the show together and, uh, and hung it, and it opened last night. So what, what do you think this says about Brooklyn Art now? Well, Brooklyn Art Now is big. <laughs> I, I, I could not even uh, pretend to be someone that was uh, giving you the full picture. These are a few of the artists in Brooklyn, but uh, I'm hoping that it uh, gives people a chance to sort of see things. I think one of the interesting things is that because this is the first ever Brooklyn Art Fair, and this is the first Brooklyn Art Now, that we're setting a, a precedent and we'll be hope, hopefully we'll be able to come back in more in future years and do it again and people will do it better and maybe we'll have some serious funding and uh, a lot of stuff like that and uh, and uh, have a real major show with dozens and dozens and dozens of artists uh, well and then I wanted to I wanted you to tell us a little bit about this sound piece what, what's this sound piece all about well, this is a piece by a young artist, Nick Yulman, and uh, I actually, I've been getting a lot of uh, questions about this, so I sat down with him, or chatted with him this morning about the piece. Uh, Nick is from Philadelphia, and uh, I think he's working, studying at NYU now on a uh, master's program in, I think it's interactive media. And so this... He's Place. also he's, he does he's also a musician, but this is, involves a lot of uh, computer programming. So we'll give you a quick little taste of what's going on here. So that's the Austro-Hungarian drawer, or yeah, Austria-Hungary drawer. I guess each one of these drawers has different things in there, and um, he's activated them with little magnetic uh, units. And um, as you open all the drawers. It actually plays in concert, so uh, got a whole lot of things going. We've got their seashells are down in the Newfoundland drawer. Cool. So this piece is titled The Song Cabinet cool, cool. by Nick Yulman, and he's showing at Ventana 244. Very cool. A new and, gallery in Williamsburg. And, and uh, this opened yesterday, and tonight's the big party, and then, uh, you know, I, I'm sure a Every lot of people will come. Every day is a party. Every day is a party. Every day is a party. <laughs> Thanks, James. Thank you.